Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate this Mass for the intention of every hill, the, the living. And as we continue to thank God for the gift of life, let us also offer this Mass for the intentions of our brothers and sisters, especially for those who are sick, coming together as God's family. Let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who showed the light of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. When Hezekiah was mortally ill, the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came and said to him, Thus says the Lord, put your house in order, for you are about to die, you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. O Lord, remember how faithful and wholeheartedly I conducted myself in your presence, doing what was pleasing to you, and Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, Go tell Hezekiah, thus says the Lord, the God of your father David, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. In three days you shall go up to the Lord's temple. I will add 15 years to your life. I will rescue you and the city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will be a shield to this city. Isaiah then ordered a poultice of figs to be taken and applied to the boil that he might recover. Then Hezekiah asked, What is the sign that I shall go up to the Lord, to the temple of the Lord? Isaiah answered, This will be the sign for you from the Lord, that he will do what he has promised. See, I will make the shadow cast by the sun on the stairway to the terrace of Ahaz. Go back the ten steps, go back the ten steps it has advanced. So the sun came back to the ten steps it had advanced. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, you save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Once I said in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Those live whom the Lord protects, yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. Jesus said to them, Have you not read where David did what David did when he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests, could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. Dear friends, today we hear Jesus invites us to recognize that he has come to bring mercy to all of us. And today in the gospel, we have three things to ponder in our journey of life. The first one is good conflict. Throughout the gospels, we can feel the rising tension and conflict es escalating between Jesus and the religious authorities of the time. Jesus fearlessly provoked and probed them to unveil the vain obligation behind their religious practices regarding fasting, purity, observance of the Sabbath, etc. He didn't use biblical arguments with his enemies to prove them wrong, but rather desired for them to experience him as love itself, the very objective of the law. Jesus proclaimed himself greater than the temple even Lord of the Sabbath itself. In our day, many conflicts arise regarding faith practices and moral obligations. Where there is a healthy conflict, there is the opportunity to understand and question our motive to love God above all else. Conflicts form part of our faith journey in our ongoing process of conversion. Secondly, a relationship of love. What happened in the hearts of the Pharisees can easily happen to us. We can become so attached to our efforts to pursue pious practices that we lose sight of why we are doing them in the first place. Worse still, we can then be quick to point out where others are falling short in fulfilling rules, obligations, and practices. From Christ's perspective, religion is above all else a relationship of love with him. And thirdly, mercy above all. For God, generosity, kindness, and good deeds will be favored over the mere performance of dutiful obligations. In all things, he calls us to love in the way we see ourselves and others, and the way we relate with God and with all creation. The law has found its fullness in Jesus. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill it. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Jesus walks with us to instruct our hearts not sorry to sacrifice, but to make evident God's tender mercy. We are to proud ourselves on how we give ourselves in love, not just in what we accomplish or do. We are called to love one another, and the mercy of Christ always is the mercy which always embraces love to one another. Let us continue and respond to his message, and his message always will give us life. Amen. Amen. Please stand.
Lord Jesus, we thank you for giving us an opportunity to ponder in our lives. Give us courage always to recognize one another. And for this we pray. Lord. We acknowledge that sometimes we think that we're righteous and forget that we have to ponder on our journey of life. Give us courage always to ask you for your mercy. And for this we pray. We pray for family members, and especially for those who are struggling in their faith. Give them strength always to recognize that you are always embracing them, and for this we pray. Lord, we acknowledge that love is a journey. Give us the perspectives to understand that this journey always begins where we are, with love and forgiveness, and for this we pray. Lord, for those who have died, especially for those who died with COVID-19. We are praying for them for the eternal rest and for their family members. We are praying so that they may continue always to be embraced by your loving care. And for this we pray. Lord, we, are. we ask thee through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and the honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. And if you're watching us live stream, please put a note in the chat box. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. When you come up to communion, if you've not heard, we ask that you, first of all, have your mask over your nose and your mouth. Uh, we ask also that when you come up, you put your hands uh, like a cup or a basket. And then finally, once you receive communion, if you would step over to the yellow dot, and then that's when you would lift your mask and, and do communion. That way the flow works a little bit better. Thank you. Please stand. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, 
its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Gary, I would like to thank all of you for coming and celebrate the Mass today with me. But also for those who are watching live streaming Mass, I will say thank you for your prayers. But let us continue to support one another because God has given us the power to love one another. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The celebration is ended. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.